Look, they have even more clothes. Look at that pink bomb on top there too. It's back when I worked at Nordstrom. It was one of my favorite ones. Oh, it kind of, this gives me like, Voy a ser la madrina de la primera comunión. Y aquí. Off white. Balenciaga, Fendi. What is up, you guys? You're watching Sergio. And before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And today we're gonna be seeing what's new in TJ Maxx. We're gonna be going to the top two highest volume TJ Maxx's here in Houston. Right now we are getting a little gay coffee. Um, we're right here by the Galleria. We're right here by everything. Um, so I got myself a little pink drink. And also um, I have to get a oil change first so i think we're gonna go to i know the tj maxx is here but it's close it's close to me i will come back i decided to get a starbucks here because it's close so we're gonna get my little oil change because i definitely need it and we are gonna go to the winter river oaks and then we're gonna come here and then we're gonna kiki and see what we can find hopefully we can find a lot so it's gonna be new arrivals at tj maxx what's new for tj maxx in march so let's go ahead and see what we find you guys love these videos like i said give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button i appreciate all the love and support and march is gonna be a bigger month for everybody so let's put that good energy Let's put that put good vibes out there and let's kill it. But first, a Starbucks pink drink. <laughs> and oh my god, and I still have like during the weekends I have a bad habit of like not making food. I usually just like eat out. And so I literally have the I have the eat out. I have pizza that I only eat half of it, and then I have like something else that I need to throw out. Kind of it sounds like food in here. Kind of embarrassing, but um I, it'll get cleaned. Um I have a car wash to get, get done tomorrow, so I'll take care of it. But I do need an oil change because I will be going to Austin, I think, on Friday. I think this video will go out on Sunday, Saturday, I'm not sure. But I have a vlog to film today, tomorrow, like vlog vlogs, and then I'm doing one on set Friday. And I've been doing sit-down videos and I've been kind of getting my things together. Yes, guys, let's go ahead and go. Outfit of the day and everything. You guys know I always come through. First, let's get that oil change, baby, because without an oil change, we ain't going nowhere. Period. Okay, so the lighting is quite awful with the phone because the sun is about to... Getting my oil change, right? And it ended up being a guy and a girl, like a couple. And the guy, like, came up to me and he was like, Oh, like, where'd you get your back from? But they're, like, a couple. And they look like they were probably, like, in their mid-20s. And then so the guy was... He, I explained to so him, like, well, I got it from Farfetch, like, blah, 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 blah. It's, like, a cool brand. I get a lot of compliments on it. I was like, oh, I want to see if, if I can put my gun in it. You know, you know what I mean? And I was like, I guess he got like, I don't know. I guess maybe he, I don't know. Like, I was just being nice. And then I was like, oh, like, I kind of clapped back. Oh, which one you're going to put in? I said, because they have different sizes too. And I kind of started explaining to him. And he kind of got like a little embarrassed because I guess he didn't think that I knew what I was talking about when it came to weapons. I was, oh, which one are you talking about? I said, well, they have like three other sizes. I can tell you which size it will fit it fitting it and it was just kind of like awkward and kind of like i don't know what their intention was to say that but i was like okay that's a little weird we're here at tj maxx i got my oil change it was not as busy as which is always good and let's go ahead and go in and see what we can see and the sun is setting and i look quite awful see what's new so they have a little long shrimp right here uh how much do they want for you they want 100 this retails for 125 let's see what the tag says yeah 125 so it's right they have one of these Neo Noe, which are 155 89 so it's tagged on, oh, right? I think, no, maybe these are the smaller ones. I think the, but the original kind of bigger, the clubs, not the Noe, the club. This little baby one, 89 from 125 I like these when I worked at Norton. This was like the perfect like little lunch bag that I used. It was so cute. It looks a little too small on me. They have this one. Hundred dollars. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, that is so cute. I'm not gonna lie. Thirty dollars, but this is so cute. Oh my god, this looks like my little Antigona. Then they have this one here, this pink one. I think these ones retail for one ninety. I will say Marc Jacobs bags. Yeah, Marc Jacobs bags and Longchamp bags haven't had an increase in price. This one's three twenty nine. I've always loved this bag. I would love to sell this bag when I worked at Nordstrom. It was one of my favorite ones, and everybody loved it. I would just tell people to kind of spray the lining, and it would have pretty well. And I like that it didn't have any branding on it. This little brown one is cute. Eighty. I love the color of this. It's so pretty. I like this TJ Maxx, and I'll leave the locations linked down below. Um, I think this is the LNG print nylon like this location because it's always pretty clean like 
especially into the semana during the week. It's pretty, pretty clean. We have this one, 500 from 900. Cute. I wonder where TJ Maxx gets all the long shots from. I don't know if they directly, long shot directly sells it to them. Michael Kors, $100. And then third, this Aldo one is super, oh, it's kind of funky. It's a little bit fun. I will say I prefer Aldo bags versus Steve Madden bags. I love Steve Madden shoes, but I'm not a big fan of their handbags. Oh, then they have this big toe. Ooh, my mom would like something like this. It's like nice and slouchy, and you can kind of like um, open it and kind of give it more of like of a regular toe. Ooh, this would be cute for, for the season. Super cute. And they have a bunch of like maybe uh, long shot bags. And they have this beautiful leather one. This is 350. Super cute, kind of like a baby, baby, pink, baby, 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 pink, baby, baby, blue. Michael Kors tote for the season. I usually don't go through like the contemporary bags. Usually I just go, oh my god, they have this one. 330 or 550. Uh, I just love this bag. The, I think it's called the Rusi. It starts with the R. Oh, let me put you back. I love that one. And then we have this one. And same thing, you can snap the inside, and this one goes for 350 I think this is such a classy, everyday black bag. Um, but the CJ Maxx has it, and then they have like a leather one too. 330 like a decent stuff for spring, I think. Like, look, there's like not a lot of black bags, but when you look over there and more of like the browns and the colorfuls, you actually have quite a bit of selection. Um, this more Jacob crossbody, they want 89 from 200 not bad um these are a great deal 150 from 250 i love this and this is actually bigger than the one that i have and i love the material of this in the line it's a little bit better i don't know it feels a little bit more better to the touch than let's say that type of material on a night one like, i don't know i feel like it kind of gives it more of a luxe here's more brown bags hat season you get your Eric Jarvis hats here. These inner sweats are cute for $16.99. That's not a bad price. You can get your icy chain here too for $40. Oh my god. This one with the little bears are so cute. That's $20. That's so cute. I feel like I would eat them. And then all these Kinder Scots are like under $20. I like all of them. Kinder Scots very much reminds me more of our spring brand. Super cute. Oh my god, they have so much runway items. Oh my god, jacket. We have a Joa jacket. Joa used to be really expensive, and then I feel like they kind of fell through. Like, this is not the Joa quality that I remember growing up. Like, Joa used to be like, this would not be $20. Joa used to be like, used to be like $300. This and Joa would be $500. Joa's definitely, it's changed a lot. Like Nordstrom and Neiman's and Saks, they don't care as they used to. I like they have these Remy book pants, 44. But yeah, Joa's changed a lot. I remember when I worked at the Rack, and even when I was still working at Full Line right in the beginning, Nordstrom still carried like a good amount of Joa. And then out of nowhere, they kind of like fell through. Um, but I know they would do like a lot of like Nordstrom, like they would do like a lot of off pricing. So I think that's why. So here they have a Bottega chain bag. They have an Alexander McQueen pouch. They have a Gucci bag. They have this new season Chloe bag, which I'm surprised they have. Another long shop. Oh my God, this baby Jack Moose that I've had before. Then I sold it because it was a little bit too small. Uh, Saint Laurent, a Valentino rainbow, Off-White, Balenciaga, Fendi. And then they have this Gucci one. A Stella McCartney wallet on chain, a Chloe kiss bag. Another Gucci, a Fendi, vertical collection, a long shot bag. I think that's, I don't know, look, Gucci, Valentino, a Bottega chain pouch, they want 28. And then this bucket bag, Versace. And this Bottega with the chain throughout it. That Jack Moose is cute. Let's see how much it's going for. They want $229 for that. I think I paid it at last call for like $100. That's what they have, but I'm so sad about Joa. So the clearance, like they have, I see kind of like, um, like purple tags. So I think we should start through here. But usually in March, TJ Maxx starts getting like a lot of great inventory. I've noticed that. Theory. Oh my god, they have Lafayette up in here. 
Remy Brooke. How much do they want for the Lafayette? 60 bucks. Look, they have a Max Mara skirt. Like an actual Max Mara. No. Oh no, never mind. It's Max Mara Studio. But I think this is really pretty. It's super lightweight. This is perfect for like the Houston weather theory. So I will say for bottoms, I am very picky on how they fit. And then in the tops, I can like literally wear like all sizes. It's kind of like some of the other brands where like I think I love Tree Birch, but I always think of it more as a spring brand. And look, they have so much Troy Birch ready to wear. So they have like this beautiful skirt. But usually around this time is when they kind of sell all the items. Like this classic Troy Birch tunic is $100. This other one. Skirts. They have all these toy birch skirts. This one's pretty with the little tweed material, and they want a hundred for it. And look, they have Stella McCartney jeans. They want one eighty for the jeans. But look, th this is old toy birch. This tag is old, old because the newer toy birch tags look like that. I like when I kind of like go through things that kind of like can give commentary versus just showing you items. I'm not a big fan of this print. I think this is from a few seasons ago. They have like this t-shirt dress too. 100 bucks. I don't know, sometimes during Prairie Birch private sales, sometimes you can find good deals. Like this is cute. 100 bucks. And 300. 66.6% .6 off. But I don't know. Toy Birch ready, ready to wear for me is very much hit or miss. It's either I love it or I don't like it. I love Tweet Bitch bags and accessories, but I don't wear like prints like this. This is from, this is a buy from like two years ago. This, and how much do they want for this? 129 for this little, like this is, this is from a few years back. Nothing wrong with that, because I wear things in my closet that are years. Sunrise, sunrise, well we're about to be on sunset, because the day's about to be over. Ooh, the Simon Miller stretch, 60 bucks. This is cute. I wish I would look good like this with collarbones, but it's not very flattering on me. No, they have all this Love Shack Fancy. All this Love Shack Fancy. These coat pants, 130. Angel pants with the buttons, so cute. But the only thing with pants like this, I feel like every time I fluctuate weight, I always want to get them adjusted. These pants. All these bombers. Two, two and one. They want one fifty for it, and this retails for seven hundred. Bring four hundred. Yeah, but they have all these Sandro eighty from two ninety five. Well, they were sold at the outlet, but then they got sold here. Got these little shorts from ATM, sixty bucks for two hundred sixty. Oh, they're so cute. They feel so nice to the touch. These are more kind of like you wear lounging around. I wouldn't wear these out and about. They're a little too short for me. And these are a little too short for me. Top 70. Cute. And we got this Sandra with the buttons. 130. Ooh, this is so cute. Look at that. That is gorgeous. For me, seeing Mother at TJ Maxx. I've never seen Mother, but they have it. 
They have all these Lafayette blazers for when picking a bunch of sizes and this linen -y material. Cruples. They actually have really great stuff. I've never seen them have this many great stuff. And then I just saw um, Brunello Cuccinelli too. Have this coat top, St. John little navy knit. They want hundred dollars. That's actually not the bad. The row, four hundred from fifteen. This Stella top they want two hundred. It's a little pricey because you can literally get a lot of Stella ready to wear like seventy percent off at the end of the season. But they have a little bird, the Brunello Cuccinelli. Look at that with the sequins and the garment. This top here. This sweater is really pretty. 700. Parto. They want 200. Kenzo, 250. And it comes with the original Kenzo hanger. This is so cute. I love this. Like, look at the sequin. So cute. They have this beautiful Valentino for four racks and it's here for 600 and it's reversible with this black and then this hoops top. Oh my god, they have a Balenciaga jacket for 1079 It's kind of ugly though, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of cute though too, at the same time. It's like a two-in-one. A Brunello Cuccinelli blazer for 600 and it's not lined. What's well, like somewhat lined? 42 is actually my size. Look, they have even more clothes. Look at that pink bomb on top there, too. This Montclair Genius coat, 900. And this kind of rainproof material. This jacket with the Laura Piana fabric. Alexander McQueen, this is old Alexander McQueen. This is at least three years old, 500. Look at this Saint Laurent jacket. It looks kinda like the one that I got. $1,200. And that's a little pricey, but it's gorgeous. Look at that, and look at the pockets. Uh, beautiful. This is a dirty mirror. I was gonna take my thumbnail, but it's a poquito sucio. But as you can see, my phone is cracked here. They, they, I did not know that people stole shoes like that. Dang, I've never seen them have sensors on shoes like this. And these are just like the Simpson $30 shoes. No, no, but uh, even at North Mark, they were not such shoes. Oh my God, remember last year when I got my mom a pair of these? She actually ended up liking them. They kind of look like Valentino kind of shoes. She actually wears them. They're really comfortable, but I think hers were like the kind of like made in Italy version, like not Steve Madden. But, like they have Gucci shoes. These are fugly. <laughs> Five hundred dollars, absolutely. Not. I wouldn't even pay, honestly, two hundred dollars for them. I know I wouldn't even pay a hundred dollars for them. A thousand dollars for these, so I can look like I live in twenty seventeen. No, I don't know. I just feel like uh, I feel like a lot of these shoes, have, like we, I've seen them like at every North Mac, every TJ Maxx. They're all the ones that people don't want. Saint Laurent, five hundred, four hundred. Okay, that's. Decent. Oh, they have Aquazora shoes. They actually, I feel like for the designer ones, they keep the boxes for them. Because um, these are definitely not Gucci shoes. They put another pair. Oh, I think that's the box for that. John Vito Rossi shoes. And they didn't even... These are cute. Okay, that's not bad. 200 bucks. for some John Vito Rossi. That seems pretty reasonable. I'm gonna leave it open so they, know, so they know what it is. Not bad, not bad. Kind of cute. Some Manolo Blahniks, and these ones go for 300. That's not bad either. Brand new, 39 and a half. Stuff. I didn't really find anything that I liked. Okay, I'm about to get a bunch of stuff uh, delivered, so I feel like I don't really need like anything i didn't find anything okay guys i mean it's a second location i'm dead because I, I one of the ladies that i saw at td max is at this location she probably thinks i'm trying to like stalk her or try to go for her absolutely not 
me and her, I guess we're both TJ Maxx fashionistas, I guess. But it's always a little awkward when I see like the same person that I don't know at another place. I probably think, oh girl, where's he up to? But I'm just trying to, you know, shop and get the deals just like everybody else, you know, TJ Maxx. This is the one by the Galleria, but you know, I always put the locations of each ones that I go to. Um, oh my God, my keys. So the TJ Maxx doesn't have as much. Oh my God, I see this pretty Brunello Cucinelli dress that I want to look at. So this one has this Fendi bag right here. This Saint Laurent bag, Chloe Kiss that we saw the other one, Valentino Walk. Um, two Chloe Marcy's that are $14.99 from 2050. There's two Gucci shoes that are $500 each. Um, this Bottega bag that's $16.99. Oh, look, this baby Jack Moose in this purple color. And this, this one right here, and then a Bottega Veneta pouch that's $2.99. $2,099, but they have a purple Jack Moose, so we kiss another one, a Valentino backpack, and then they have Bote Bottega, Valentino, Bottega, a fixture, they have a long shot bag, they have a Fendi pouch, that's $15.99, that is not $15.99, you gotta be careful because people is keeping you, people like return it and change it out to something else, we have a Bottega big bag, a Valentino bag with the big B on it, this Valentino bag that's velvet and then we have another Valentino this Givenchy bag Chloe Kiss Christian Louboutin and that's about it and there's a Gucci at the bottom you gotta be careful because that does not retail for $15.99 probably some may think they're getting a good deal but it's actually a ripoff a Google search will always help you out guys if you're very unsure googling you know you have a cell phone in, you know in your hand so go to Google search if you're uncertain about anything um always make sure to just Google it and nothing a Google don't help you know it's very easy they have so many of these Brunello Cuccinelli silks for $400 each Jessica Simpson, Brunello Cuccinelli collab, Ray Birch tanks, more of these Brunello Cuccinelli tanks. And here's a bunch more tanks. I've been seeing a lot of Brunello Cuccinelli and a lot more Eileen Fisher. And then the other the other TJ Maxx had a little bit of this brand called Co, which actually is a really great basic brand. So if you see this brand, I would recommend it. Um, they have like a lot of clean basic items and their items, are, you know, they're really great quality. I sold some of it when I worked at Nordstrom and a lot of my clients really like them. Um, this Valentino dress with a little fur, little detail, or like the feather detail, super cute. Um, we have this little leather detail, I believe this is Vince, yes. You could just tell that it's Vince just by the how buttery soft. Vince leather is very, very soft. They have this blazer for $800, that's Balenciaga. I think it's like an, no, it's not an hourglass blazer. It's just a blue one. I think I've seen this here before. Oh for my new phone. Hopefully it gets delivered today. Um, Lafayette, this weekend Max Mara for a thousand. I don't think it's really worth it. The rest right here is 800. And the, even the hangers, like, it's not even hollow on the inside. It's like filled, it's, like, quite heavy. $800. I love the color. Super cute. The detail. I have this. And this is still full price at Saks and at the Theory website for $200. This is in a size large mine's in a size large too and i get a lot of wear out of it we saw this one at the other one too this is really pretty i love the details but well, something that i would only really wear like one time or two times and then that's something i get bored of this blazer who makes you Cuccinelli? oh no valentino but yeah valentino beautiful twenty twenty three hundred dollars Oh, well, they have Marnie in the house, $13.99. Comes with the Marnie hanger. It's the Saint Laurent blazer. Ooh la la. 23. Look at that. Look at the way it shines. It like in in like in the camera, it's kind of capturing pretty well. Usually the iPhone doesn't capture it pretty well. It's a beautiful slack uh, black with this beautiful gold kind of detail. Ooh la la, it's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Uh, same bomb. No, this is a different Balmain blazer. They have Balmain blazer, $1,500, and it's in the new Balmain tag. The one that I saw last time had the order tag, so this is newer. I do like the Balmain blazer, but I feel like it's a little overdone as far as like a designer ready to wear piece. 
I mean, I would still love to have one eventually, but I feel like it's a little overdone. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions. I think it's classic. I think it's very beautiful, but I think so, I think it's I think it's a little overdone for now. Um, but I do really like Balmain, and I would love to add one, you know, later. I think they have this Versace dress though. Ooh, Versace, Versace, Versace. Yes. Ooh, yes. Somebody needs to get this. I love the twirl detail. Something about Versace, I always love. They always make a similar look when you walk around. I've tried Versace skirts, and I love the twirl that they have. Just twir don't twirl too hard because it will show everything. I do like Versace ready to wear. Oh, look, they have this Love Shark Fancy. $60. This is really pretty. It's so cute because it has like a little baby one and a big one. This is $24. That's actually really cute. Uh, I love fuzzy, but the fuzziness season is out. That's why it's on clearance. This Michael Kors is cute. Oh, I thought it had like two different, but it's just a one big pocket. But I, it would have been cuter if I had two because you put like your phone and then your keys, your keys in your phone. So you know where it's at. Um, baby, this is cute too. Very Gucci Dionysus, Dionysus inspired. I have a lot of long jumps. We usually kind of see that all the time. The other one, quite a bit. Oh, bags. We have this Bottega Veneta for $1,800. And then we have $17.99 for this Gucci, which I think is a little pricey considering you can literally get a Gucci bag brand new from the store for literally a coat for like $1,500. Uh, this D1 Chi Antigone is soft. I like, but the thing is, I feel like this is smooth leather, so I feel like this hardware, like, it's gonna scratch it over time. And they want $21.99. Would you make them now? Surprised. I look so shocked, but my face is so oily. But it's the vitamin C that I've been putting on my face. Oh my god, this Christian Louboutin tote. This was from a few seasons ago. This is from a long time ago, but that's really pretty. Louboutin bags have been growing on me. Not my particular style. It was yellow tag. I don't know how much this is, but... They have that. Uh -huh. These are so popular. I still kind of like it. I remember they were popular, like the Kogaya ones. I had the Amazon version, but I remember they were popular for like a little bit. Um, but I'm not sure if they're still like popular, popular, but I'm kind of here for it. I love that kind of style. Oh my God, St. John, yes. It's giving what it's supposed to give. This is 700 from 26.95. That's really pretty. Pichinelli, little top. 200, that's actually like the most inexpensive Brunello Cuccinelli item we've seen. But it's not the most cutest. I feel like Brunello Cuccinelli can be very kind of hit or miss as far as their clothes. I love it, the ones that I do see. Nicholas, 130. Dolce Gabbana, 1400. It's a pretty dress, but I don't want rock Dolce Gabbana like that. Girl, who returned this used played the Carmen Garçon? I think this is a replica for 100 bucks in a G1G hanger. Girl, this looks like I need to sanitize my hands. Miller little cardigan, ribbed, 60 bucks. That's actually not a good, that's actually a good price. I think this retails for maybe like 180, because I think the tops are 135. So I think a cardigan would be like a little bit more. Can I get any backup pressure to the Oh look, they have a bomb skirt. Ooh la la, so pretty. Gorgeous. So this is the green top that I got. Um, I think I need to exchange it out for a medium. I didn't feel like trying it on, but I mean, it actually doesn't fit that bad. I just don't like how crop it is. And since the medium was going to be like a little bit larger, I think it'd be fine for the St. Patrick's Parade. I don't know what it looks like in the back. I think it looks fine. Um, I wanted it to wear it with my hammock backpack because that's what I'm going to be wearing for the 4th of July uh, parade in Dallas. Um, I got, I accommodated my days off so I can have um, that weekend off, like Friday and Friday, Sunday. And so, so I can have Saturday and and Sunday off. And so I think it's so cute. I love it. Um, I think I'm gonna get it for another size. I wanna wear white pants, but no, knowing St. Patrick's Parade, it's, it's best that I wear like green pants. I have these green DVF pants, but I would have to get them altered like tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna wear this. Or actually I could wear white jeans and just, if anything happens to them, I could bleach them. And I can wear this green backpack, and then I can wear like white green like sneakers, white sneakers. And that'd be like my Fourth of July look. And if it gets like a little chilly, 
I can bring like a blazer or something to kind of cover myself up and I will have to put sunscreen and everything. But it's a top, I just kind of wanted a St. Patrick's Day kind of vibe since I'll be in Dallas next weekend. I think it's cute. What do we think? I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts on it. I could also wear it with this, but I feel like this is, even though this is green, I feel like I've, this is like a little overkill. I would not wear the shorts for the parade because it's going to be like, like day activities. I feel like this is too much. I would wear this probably in the evening if I end up, ended up doing like a fun dinner with my girlfriends, which I didn't do last time when I was in Dallas. Um, I had to accommodate like a lot of family things, so I didn't get to do that. So I probably will wear that for a dinner with some of my girlfriends. But what I like is it's green, so I'm gonna be wearing a bunch of green. This, or even like this green blazer would look good with this, like a little color block moment. I don't know how I'm gonna style it, but I like it. It's super cute. I also want to show you this Burberry thing that I got. Um, this was like, uh, this was such an unexpected item to get, but I love it. I always kind of wanted a poncho. I showed this to my mom, and my mom was so like jealous. She was like, "Oh my god!" I was like, "Sergio, I know you did not buy that." She was like, "She was like, she was she wanted like the whole story, the whole cheese man." So I think I should belt it. Like I should buy like a Burberry belt. Uh, but if you guys know, I have a lot of Burberry ready to wear. I should probably get some Burberry shoes because I don't have any. Um, but it has the iconic Nova check. And it has it like this. I kind of prefer the BT. It kind of looks like Troy Birch, but I also like this. But I feel like this is kind of like baby shower, baby daddy vibes. Like I'm about to. No, it kind. This gives me like, voy a ser la madrina de la primera comunión y aquí tengo el niño que vamos a bautizar o el bautizo. And I'm gonna have el bautizo and I'm gonna have the baby and I'm gonna put the baby like hold the baby to my photo. See like, oh, it's la madrina, blah 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 blah. Mira, mijo, lo vamos a bautizar, vamos a hacer la fiesta y todo. And then I'm all like, I'm all drunk like off of wine. And I'm like dancing así como la madrina, crazy. I feel like this is like the vibe that it gives me. And I'm kind of here for it. I'm kind of here for like the madrina vibe. Um, and then probably like whenever like I have too much wine, I'll probably be carrying it like this. Like, woo! Like I'll probably be like all over. I love the fringe of it. But this definitely is giving me la madrina vibes. It, it padrino vibes. I don't know. I don't care which one. It's the same, it's the same to me, and so I love it, and so I'm kind of here for it, and it's like a forever piece. And so I wanted to show you that because it's definitely giving me that vibe. I'm still waiting for my phone to get delivered. My front and my back screen are cracked on my iPhone, and I was, it's supposed to get delivered today, and so hopefully I get it before the end of the day today, or if not tomorrow. It said it was supposed to come here, so it should be here any minute now. And yeah, I want to give this video, I want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching this gay video. I love each and every single one of you. March is good luck, March is good energy, March is good vibes. Thank you so much for watching this TG Max. Come shop with me, kind of like follow me around a little chit chat. And I'll see you guys in the Proxima video. Bye guys and take care. And then I'll make sure to leave my outfit that I was wearing and anything that I showed that's a highlight. I'll make sure to also leave all those items linked down below. And I also have an Inst I've also been posting a lot more on TikTok and Instagram. So if you want to keep up a little bit more, check it down below in the description box. And without further ado, tu madrina is out. Well, your favorite madrina. Never forget that. <laughs>